many species we once thought not to be vocally active are in fact vocally active. That's point one. There's a lot more sound out there than right. we were aware of. And point two is that those acoustic communication mechanisms, they contain more ecologically complex information than we previously realized. And by painstakingly doing field research and linking those sounds to non-human behaviors and testing those through playback experiments, you can begin to decode the meanings of the acoustic communication of other species. So that's how we know that elephants have a specific word for honeybee. They have a specific word for human. That's how we know that many species have individual names. We didn't know that 10 or 15 years ago. 